Hi guys, so in the past I've talked about how the Conservatives, and in particular Boris Johnson, would reach for shiny objects in order to distract the public from the disaster that was taking place. Now, when it came to the pandemic last year, the first shiny object was the test and trace system. Billions of pounds were handed over to Dido Harding and it didn't really work. The next shiny object was Operation Moonshot, where millions of tests were to be carried out every day. Matt Hancock, Boris Johnson rolled it out in Parliament and we haven't really heard anything about Operation Moonshot. So the next shiny object I'll get to in a moment, but I want to explain a bit of context here. Great Britain is no longer a member of the single market and the customs union. So Great Britain being England, Scotland and Wales. Northern Ireland is a different situation. But because um, of the use of the land bridge in the past, so in the past, and it's still used today, but to a much smaller extent, tr trucks would move between Ireland and France via the UK. So they would travel from Dublin to Holyhead in Wales, travel across Wales into England, across England down to Dover where they would uh, cross into France and deliver their goods and vice versa with uh, imports. Now because Great Britain is part uh, is no longer part of the single market and the customs union, it's a third country, that means that there is extra bureaucracy and delays at the ports. So Irish importers and exporters are avoiding the land bridge. And this has greatly increased the number of uh, crossings by ferry between Ireland and France and Spain has increased dramatically. At the same time, the amount of crossings between uh, Ireland and Wales has decreased. So what is this shiny object I'm talking about? It's Boris's borough. So it says here from Sky News, tunnel linking Scotland and Northern Ireland backed by Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack. The Prime Minister initially floated the idea of a bridge, but a tunnel is now seen as a cheaper and more viable option. So this is a, a this was originally uh, the idea of a bridge between Scotland and Northern Ireland, as you can see on the screen. Now, the number there were pro a few problems, little problems, <laughs> uh, teasing problems, we could say, or little problems between uh, of the idea of having a bridge, a physical bridge between Scotland and Northern Ireland. One issue was, of course, the, the water. The waters are quite rough between Scotland and Northern Ireland and it would make building a bridge problematic. Uh, a much bigger problem, of course, was the unexploded mines that are lying on the seabed from World War II um, in this stretch of water. And also it must be remembered that the depth of water between Scotland and Northern Ireland is much higher, it's much deeper than, for example, the channel. So the channel between um, England and France. So it would be quite a task building a bridge. So another option, of course, is to build a tunnel. Now, there is this idea that it would be similar to the channel tunnel between France and the UK and England. But the problem with that also is that, as I said before, the the depth of water is is much deeper, um, much higher, or much deeper in this channel than it is between France and England, which means that the tunnel would have to be much deeper at the uh, at both ends to go underneath this uh, stretch of water. That would mean it would be more expensive and perhaps more dangerous in its construction. So. But what's, what's the benefit of this? Is there a real benefit? Well, not really, because at the moment, as Northern Ireland is part of the single market and the customs union when it comes to goods, ferries are traveling from Scotland into Northern Ireland and the, the lorries are being checked. The problem is not the quantity coming over, it's there are checks. So even if there was a tunnel built, at the very end of the tunnel, there would be a customs check. So you would have queues of trucks, not um, on ferry boats, but they would be in a tunnel, which I think would raise some concerns as well. This is once again a shiny object by the Conservatives and Boris Johnson to distract from the problems that are faced, that are being faced by Northern Ireland at the moment. Northern Ireland is part of the single market and the customs union when it comes to goods. Goods have to be checked. Building a tunnel won't fix that problem. Now, there is something that could fix that problem. 
it could be Great Britain joining the single market and the customs union. That would actually fix the problem. It would fix many problems. It would fix the problems at Dover. It would fix the problems for the fishing industry. A bridge or a tunnel will not. But let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about this. Boris Burrow, as always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?